Well, this whole thing started in a strange way because I had this piece of music that was supposed to go to a vocalist and and it didn't happen the way it should have in the end. Uh, But I I was really happy with the music. And then uh, uh, I happened to discuss this with uh, Adrian Bookbinder, who's uh, doing publishing in A&R at uh, at Defected. So Dimitri initially sent me this instrumental two years ago and we thought a female vocalist could sing it. So we were, I was like, you know, Furious would be amazing to write the song first. That was a beautiful disco track. And she already had an artist in mind for it, um, a female artist. Um, and I heard it immediately. I said, yeah, I, I mean, I actually started humming it in, in the office while she was playing it. And then, you know, six months pass and then we hit lockdown. The first lockdown, like last March. Uh, and, uh, I mean, I kind of had to forget about the whole thing. I wrote the lyrics and it was definitely inspired by the moment and inspired by the, the suffering going on in the world and looking for kind of shreds of hope all around. When you're in this kind of like place of darkness and unknown, there's one constant that is still going to be there. Something that makes you feel secure, which is music and it kind of helps light that little bit of optimism inside you and that that bit of hope. Then Adrian emails me out of the blue, oh, uh, we have uh, we have uh, the song that uh, Furious put over your music. So I'm listening to the song and it's it feels totally perfect. It's kind of like, okay, this is the perfect match with the vocal and the song. And I don't even feel like someone else should sing it. She asked to, to call me. She was like, well, this is, I don't really know what to say, but Dimitri loves it and and really wanted to make the point that Dimitri doesn't love everything very easily. He responded to me and said that it was fa- this is fantastic. First time in my entire music life that I'm so happily impressed with the vocal over a song I did. And I said, well, that's great. You know, who, who do you think we should sing it? And, and she's like, he wants you to sing it. And I was surprised, honestly. I wanted real strings on uh, on this uh, on this song, so uh, we tried a few options that didn't work, and uh, finally, um, salvation came from Brazil through my old friend DJ Meme, who uh, has a great uh, a great orchestra there, uh, working with amazing people who have been recording strings since the 70s, so they know exactly that sound that I was aiming for. I would say since 90. Five. I have this orchestra, these people working for me every time I need. And it's the same people I use to make the, the cure and the cause mix for the fact that when I did the, the disco remix. It's the people who work together. When they work together, they blend better in a song. I remember being sent a clip of the uh, video clip from the session and it was so powerful and it gave me shivers because you, there you have the 12 piece orchestra halfway around the world, socially distanced, masked up, playing the composition for Music Saved My Life. Street sessions is not something that you can reproduce in keyboards uh, in a good way, you know. If it's a simple thing like, okay. But if, but if you want a real disco sound, the movement and staccato things, and uh, this is, you know, very difficult to reproduce in a keyboard. I reached out to Jay Criff, who's had also releases on Glitterbox as of late, uh, who's a great uh, bass player, but I've asked him to play the guitar. So uh, again, uh, uh, family business here. And um, my friend uh, Aeroplane also helped me out with the, uh, the, the chord arrangement. And it really happened, everything happened remotely. Dimitri did the, ori- the original arrangement on keyboards, and then he sent it to me. We put it on paper for the musicians because Orchestra musicians, they never play by the ear, never. They don't do it, they need to read. And I had this unifying feeling that came because it just showed me how we were all so determined and in this together to finish the song and be able to bring it to people and share it with them during a time that hopefully they they feel uplifted from it. The song kind of was a therapy for us during during the lockdown, during, during pandemic times. Um, and so I think that the, the process and 
and us being satisfied with the result is is reward in, in itself. And I think that the song not only captures the feeling of the time that it was written, but people will be able to relate to it in five, 10, 20 years to come. But in the end, I think it turned out as one of the best record I've ever, I've ever had to lay my hands on. So I'm, I'm really proud of this. And I don't do songs very often because it's very difficult to get all those pieces to, to match together and mostly the music and the vocal. And, and once that was done, then the rest was pretty much easy. There was a little divine intervention of the disco gods to bring us together and to bring the song out. And I think that um, we, we both feel feel good in what we've done and hopefully um, people respond and get something from it as well.